The green hump parrotfish is a fish, which means it swims in small groups. Pursuing nights, it sleeps in caves or even shipwrecks. It can be found near reefs. It moves by its fins, tail like an average fish. It is an honorable both plant and animal. It eats corals, coral reefs, turf algae are its favorite food. By its mouth, it lives on the reefs. Majority live to be at least 40 years old. commonalities between this species and the greenhead that you work on, um, or the bumphead that you work on. So the reason why they're called parrotfish is because all parrotfish have this beak-like mouth. Did you get a good shot of that? All right, I just want to show these guys too. So it really does look like a parrot's beak. And the reason why they have that is because parrotfish eat, um, for the most part, eat coral. And they need to have a very strong beak to be able to scrape it off. Now we'll talk about coral more in a little bit. But if you look at here, most of coral is this hard stone. And the part that the parafish eats is only a thin film that covers the top of it. So they can't daintily pick off that thin film. Rather, they just go in and they take a big old mouthful. And they get the coral organism that they want to eat, but they also get a lot of stone. That stone is not um, entirely devoid of nutrition. There are some algae that can grow kind of inside the stone. And the coolest thing about parrotfish, and I still remember the moment in 1998 when I learned this fact because it just blew my mind, is that parrotfish have a, a second pair of jaws deep inside their throat. Wow. And it's a, it's a regular set of jaws. They're called pharyngeal jaws. Like, so your pharynx part right here. So in this part of your body, <clears throat> of the fish's body, they have a second pair of jaws. And these second pair of jaws, called pharyngeal jaws, are basically like big molars and they're articulated like this. They roll right back and forth on each other and they've got these big, they look like the teeth in the back of your mouth. And what happens is that it uses its front jaws to bite off stuff, but if you have a big mouthful of stone, you can't just sort of nibble at it. You need to, you need to crush it. And so it uses these jaws and its, and its throat, these pharyngeal jaws to roll back and forth and that grinds up the stone. And so it bites with the front mouth. It's what we call its buccal jaws and it chews, essentially, with the jaws that are in its throat. And then they have an extremely long stomach. And the reason why they have a long stomach is because it takes a long time for them to get the nutrients out, because stone doesn't have a whole lot in it. So they need to really make sure that it runs through its digestive system for a very long time to leach all the nutrients that they can, all those vitamins, all those amino acids, all those proteins out of it. Um, and they do a really good job of cleaning that and taking all the sort of biologically active stuff out of it so that what happens when it poops is it poops out the sand.